Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today. Well, it sounds like the uh, fire brigade's on its way. Anyway, we'll ignore that. Um, yeah, so today I'm going to be making, well, I'm going to start making, I'm actually going to be cooking this tomorrow. So I'm going to be making a tandoori chicken pizza. But I want to make my ten, everything from scratch. So I'm going to do my tandoori chicken um, from scratch as well and so if, to that end I'm going to marinate it overnight now I've done tandoori chicken just by itself on my channel before so if you look up the top of your screen there should be a link to that um, somewhere hopefully so I won't dwell on that make on what's going in it I'll quickly go through what um, so I've just got a 200 gram container of uh, yogurt that I've hung, so that's hung yogurt. I've got here some spices that I've just been cooking in some oil, just slightly cooking. So in there I had a tablespoon of Kashmiri chili powder, which I'm hoping will give it that nice red colour as well as a beautiful flavouring. As per usual, for these most of these Indian sort of marinades, I've got a big knob of ginger that I've grated. Get it in there, juice and all. And I've got about eight cloves of garlic. Got the juice of one lemon. A little salt. Now I'm going to be using chicken thigh fillets and all I've done as in that previous video is give them a little quick pre-marinade so I've just slightly scored them squeezed a bit of lemon juice on them a little bit of turmeric powder rub that in and this has just been sitting there for an hour or so so it's a little pre-marinade skip it if you want to um, actually what I'll do so I might mix that up a bit before I throw the chicken in. Like so. And it's about 1kg of those chicken thighs. Now I don't need all that 1kg to make my pizza. But while I'm making tandoori chicken, I'm, I'm just making extra. Alright, in that goes clean hands and we'll just rub that paste I am going to add a little bit of red food colouring just a little splash be careful not too much there might as well be hung the foxes for a lamb. All right, let's go again. And of course, that's entirely optional. So I'll get this all mixed up, rub it all in. I'll cover it, and I'll get back to you tomorrow. Alrighty, guys. So yeah, we're on the next day here. I'm um gonna cook my tandoori soon I've got some um, pizza dough resting um, I'll show you the recipe for that I'll, I'll give you a link to a recipe for when I last made um, that pepperoni pizza because I go through my recipe very simple very easy but I am gonna make a slightly different sauce for this pizza so I'll just quickly show you that um, so it's still gonna be tomato based but just a few little twists so I'm just putting in half a large tomato. Just got a handful of coriander and that's some stems as well as the leaves. You could throw the roots in too if you want. And then that's pretty standard. Just a good about two tablespoons of tomato 
paste. And again, just to sort of give it that little Asian twist, I've got a, about a tablespoon of tamarind puree. That can go in. A teaspoon and a half each of salt and sugar. And just a little bit of vegetable oil. Just to help bring that together. Alrighty guys, so I've had my um, marinated tandoori chicken out of the uh, fridge now for about an hour, so I just let it get to room temperature. I've got my oven heating up to about 220 degrees Celsius, which is about as hot as it goes. And I'm going to whack these in now for as long as it takes to cook. And if they don't char up nicely, I will actually turn the oven off get the top down griller going and um, finish them off under that just to get that charring tandoori effect. Alrighty guys, so I'm just going to quickly assemble my um, tandoori pizza, my simple pizza. So yeah, I've just spread my dough out there, made a little bit of a base. I've got my tamarind, tomato, coriander sauce. And I'm not going to need all of that. So I'll put some aside to use another time. All right, now next I've got some, uh, I just brought these pre-roasted chili red peppers, red capsicum. I'm just gonna throw some of those on. I've sliced up some of my tandoori chicken. Just drop that all over. Now at this point, yeah, you can use your cheese of choice, like um, mozzarella or whatever, but I'm going to be using some cheddar cheese, and I've come across this um, a reasonably local Kenilworth dairy. It's about a two-hour drive from where I live, but luckily it's stocked just in our local supermarkets, and it's a mango and macadamia cheddar cheese, and I'm going to grate some of that over the top. I think it'll go really nicely with our tandoori. All right, so I've got that cheese on. That was about 100 grams of that cheese. My goodness, it's a delicious cheese, I have to say. Um, so I've got my oven on maximum, so it says 250, whether it's 250 or not, who knows, but anyway, it's on maximum, so I'm going to throw this in for, for, um, as long as it takes to cook, I suspect it won't take too long, maybe 8 to 10 minutes, alright, I'll get back to you when it's done.
Alrighty guys, so yeah, this thing looks amazing at any angle. Our um, pastry and everything's cooked really nicely. Um, yeah, check it out up close. Very simple pizza, uh, except for the <laughs> process of cooking the tandoori, which I made less simple. But I mean, there's no reason you can't just use a paste and do it that way I just um, yeah I just much prefer the taste of making it um, from scratch let's try a bit Absolutely delicious. Now, like I say, you can use any cheese you want, but I can really taste the mango and the uh, yummy Queensland nut, macadamia nut in that cheese. It's just delicious. Um, wow. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. Um, thanks to everyone who has subscribed to the channel. Really appreciate it. If you haven't subscribed yet, can I just ask that you hit that subscribe button? That'd be awesome. And I will see you all next time.